Dolly Madison was an American bakery brand name that started in 1937 and closed in 2012. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can get notified of my latest video. Please hit that like button and leave a suggestion or a comment. You might see that in a future video. Thanks for watching and now back to our regular scheduled program. put golden chunks of apple in a pie that's packed to go? Uh, Dolly did it. Who put juicy red cherries in a neat-to-eat treat? Who put a creamy chocolate filling in this great little pie? Is this a test? Nah, everyone knows it's Dolly Madison who makes delicious packed to go pies. Cherry, apple, and chocolate, all with flaky golden crusts. Dolly Madison did it. Everybody knows that. Interstate Bakeries, a company based in Kansas City, Missouri, was founded in 1930 by a baker named Ralph Nafziger. Nafziger came from a family of bakers, and he produced wholesale bread loaves packaged in a distinctive country gingham wrapper, which were resold in grocery stores. Seven years later, Interstate merged with another, much better established Kansas City baker, the Schultz Baking Company, Inc., which had been founded in 1893. That same year, Nafziger proposed the creation of the Dolly Madison Cakes Division. The brand was named after Dolly Madison, the wife of President James Madison, although with the first name spelled differently. The name was also used for a successful ice cream brand, sold for decades in the United States in the mid-20th century. With the merger of Schultz Bakery and the seven bakers of Western Bakeries of Los Angeles, Interstate Bakeries Corporation became the fifth largest baker in the United States. Dolly Madison's product line continued to grow over the years. Their parent company continued to expand through acquisitions. In 1943, Interstate acquired the Supreme Baking Company of Los Angeles, and in 1950, it bought the O'Rourke Baking Company of Buffalo, New York. Acquisitions during the 1950s and 1960s included Ambrosia, Ramar, Buttercream, Campbell's Cell, Shell Tasty Baking Companies, the Kingston Cake and Cobb's Sunlit Bakeries, Sweetheart Brett Company, and Hart's Bakery. Dolly Madison snacks are probably best known for their long association characters from Charles Schultz's Peanuts comic strip. The partnership began in the 1960s. Charlie Brown and his friends appeared on Dolly Madison packages and in television commercials in the 1960s, 1970s, and 1980s. The bakery, along with Coca-Cola and McDonald's, were a major sponsor of Peanuts animated special telecasts on CBS during that period. Each pie flavor was sold with a different character on the wrapper, including Charlie Brown, Cherry and Banana Cream, Linus, Apple, Lucy, Lemon, Schroeder, Berry, Sally, Coconut Cream and Pineapple, Frida, Chocolate, Peppermint Patty, Strawberry and Peach, and Marcy, Boysenberry. The wrappers were later redesigned and featured Snoopy on all the flavors. Charlie Brown was also on Zinger's packages wearing a baseball cap. Snoopy was also on Gems donut packages as well. During the period when the packages featured Peanuts characters, the advertising agency for Dolly Madison products was Dancer Fitzgerald Sample, San Francisco's branch, primarily due to the proximity to Sh Charles Schultz, who lived in nearby Santa Rosa. In 1969, IBC changed its name to Interstate Brands with its signature brands Butternut, Blue Seal Breads, and Dolly Madison Cakes. In 1975, Interstate was acquired by Data Processing Financial and General Corporation, or simply DPF, for $37 million. By the start of the 1980s, Interstate was operating 36 different plants selling bread and cakes in 30 different markets. 70% of the company's revenues came from bread and 30% from cakes. 
In 1986, Interstate acquired Purity Baking Company and Stewart Sandwiches, followed in 1987 by Lanshire Food Products. The following year, Interstate became a privately held company and its name changed to IBC Holdings. IBC bought the Merida Cotton's Bakeries division of the American Bakeries Company. In 1991, IBC again became a public company and changed its name back to Interstate Bakeries. In January of 1995, Interstate acquired the Continental Baking Company from Ralston Perina for $330 million. The acquisition included Wonder Bread and Hostess Brands. On September 22, 2004, Interstate Bakeries filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. The bankruptcy was the longest running at that time. During the 2004 to 2009 bankruptcy period, Interstate closed nine of its 54 bakeries and more than 300 outlet stores, and its workforce declined from 32,000 to 22,000. The company dropped regional brands and operating agreements such as the agreement to produce Sunbeam bread for the northeastern U.S. On November 2, 2009, IBC became Hostess Brands, named for its Twinkies and Cupcakes division. Hostess Brands continued its bread lines, including Wonder Bread. The company's subsidiaries, such as Interstate Brand Corporation and IBC Sales Corporation, continued displaying their name and logo on Hostess Brand products. The Dolly Madison brand continued under its own name. On January 10, 2012, Hostess Brands filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy for the second time. In its filing, the company said it is not competitive, primarily due to legacy pension and medical benefit obligations and restrictive work rules. According to Hostess, it employed 19,000 people and was more than $860 million in debt. The company that makes Twinkies, Wonder Bread, and Ding Dongs announced this morning that it is going out of business following a strike by workers. Carter Evans is in Los Angeles with that story. Carter, good morning to you. Hi, Gail. This morning, Hostess filed a motion with U.S. Bankruptcy Court to close its doors for good, liquidating its assets and selling off its iconic brands. The company says it simply does not have the resources to weather the strike. While many workers are still walking the picket lines, Hostess says some union members decided to break ranks late yesterday, giving up the picket line so they wouldn't end up on the unemployment line if the work stoppage continued. Your option is if you think that there's something better, you should go find that job. But that doesn't mean that you should strike and put 17,000, 18,000 other people out of work and other families out of work just because you're unhappy with the terms. The economic downturn hit Hostess hard. The company behind Wonder Bread, as well as Twinkies and Ding Dongs, lost $340 million last year. The company already reached an agreement with its largest union, the Teamsters. They took a pay cut, but the sticking point is with the Baker's Union. They went on strike late last week. The shelves are nearly bare at this factory outlet near Los Angeles. Inside the store, they're telling customers all they can do now is hope. But workers say if Hostess is low on dough, it should find other ways to cut costs. We're not just some greedy, just greedy union workers, man. I mean, we all have families out here, risking mortgages, car, car payments, everything. So you might want to start stockpiling those Twinkies. The company says stores will remain open for a few more days to sell off its remaining products. But those iconic brands likely will not be gone for good. They'll be swallowed up by other businesses. All right, Carter. The Dolly Madison brand was among the products that were liquidated by Hostess during its announced plans to go out of business on November 16, 2012. Apollo Global Management, who acquired Hostess Brands Twinkies in January of 2013, also acquired the rights to the Dolly Madison Snack brand, as well as the official corporate name to Dolly Madison and Hostess Brands, with plans to resume production of the products. Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C Productions.